What is going on everyone? Avery Luther here. Hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Today I am going to be hitting a little push day. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I am certainly looking forward to this workout because it's been a while since I've hit a push day. Recently I've been prioritizing the back um, and the rear delts and everything, which today we will be doing. So we're going to uh, definitely start off with rear delts when we do shoulders today, without a doubt. Um, I also found this shirt that I haven't worn in like a year, and it has noticeably gotten uh, bigger. So I was happy about that because when you find old shirts that you haven't worn in a little while and they're larger on you, it always just feels so nice when you're like, okay, clearly I've made progress, which in a year, especially if you're in your teens through you know mid 20s and stuff like that i would hope that you make some progress in a year uh even if it's minuscule but regardless progress is progress so um yeah i guess without further ado um we'll move to golds right now i'm fully carved up on some eggs protein shake i'm probably gonna have a little bit of pre-workout which i never do guys i literally never have pre-workout but today i really want to have you know a bit of an enhanced pump without a doubt so um, yeah, in that case, I will see you guys when I get the golds. I rarely get C4s, but C4 is what we're having today. We have made it to the gym finally, and, um, I've kind of adopted a bit of a new training style. Nothing too crazy, but, um, I'm excited to show you guys, um, getting in a little bit higher volume instead of pushing the agenda with, uh, crazy heavy weight right now. Only because I'm just trying to give my joints a little bit of a break, but that's okay to do. I still encourage the heavy weights. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what we are weighing right now. Granted, this is with phone in hand, shoes on, full clothes on, everything. 160 basically on the dot. First exercise is going to be the incline Smith machine because why not? Um, I usually start off with incline barbell bench, but uh, I'm really feeling the Smith machine today. So we're gonna see how uh, how this feels, how this goes. I've been dealing with a little bit of a shoulder injury, so um, we're just gonna kind of tinker with it, uh, use good proper form, retract the shoulders, squeeze the lats, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the first set. This is just going to be a little bit of a um, warm up set. Alright, we are now hopping into our first heavy set, which is going to be 225. Um, I probably could have eked out 7 on this one. I went to 6, and I was thinking about doing a drop set for this one specifically, but I decided not to. Um, so basically what I've been doing is, first exercise, I push heavy, no matter what. <clears throat> I make sure that that's still... Uh, something that I focus on. You're going to build muscle, make sure that you're improving and increasing on the weight that you're uh, putting up. But then on the next exercises, I focus more on volume. So, you know, I start off doing very heavy and then the next couple exercises I'll do in the rep ranges of 12, 15, sometimes 20, uh, especially when we get to dips, I'll do 20, 25 dips um, and really make that, you know, a, uh, a key point. So I've been really enjoying this. It's been giving my joints a less, you know, a little bit less strain and it's been allowing me to really enjoy my workouts too because I'm mixing it up. I'm not staying with one specific thing the entire time. Also with higher volume, you can afford to take a little bit less of a break. Um, for the first exercise where I do go heavy, I always uh, take pretty significant breaks in between sets um but with higher volume you can take you know minute and a half two minute breaks and you'll still see great gains and you'll also be able to stay active more so keep yourself stimulated i have been really enjoying this incline machine if you guys have one 
like this that you're able to use at your gym, I would definitely recommend it. And this, I'm going pretty light on this one. I was also really burnt out from uh, the previous sets on Incline Smith. But at the same time, you can go uh, very heavy with this as well. Um, it's good for that six to eight rep range, which I would highly recommend. Um, and once again, right now I was sticking kind of on the lighter side uh, and pushing out a few more reps with it. And also, yeah, that parallel grip right there is a lot easier. And then these are the dips. I think I got 20 in this specific set, um, but I, I did about three sets of dips. Um, and the dips are the only thing that I do nowadays for my lower chest. I don't really do anything other than this for my lower chest. I think I'm gonna start doing flat bench a little bit more, um, but that's kind of like, I'm gonna feel that out and then eventually get there, so. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the workout and I'm about to get into some pose downs. Maybe they're progressing faster than you. Maybe they're, they are making the, the strength and the muscle gains that you want to see. But just remember, everybody's body is different genetically. Everyone's, uh, you know, a little different when it comes to responding to muscle um, growth. There's some people who are like hyper responders and they will put on muscle a lot quicker than others who are not hyper responders. Um, so just stay consistent. That is the biggest key. Just stay consistent in the gym. Uh, work hard towards your goals and as always push the strength agenda as well. So um, I think that is all I planned on saying so I will catch you guys in the next one. 